Shalom everyone, welcome back to another predestined, predestined kingdom ministry or ministries international videos. I am Kenethia Johnson or Kenethia J. Welcome back. Oh my Father, I pray you decrease my flesh and increase your Holy Spirit. Thank you for your glory. Father, Lord in heaven, hallowed be thy name, for thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give me this day my daily bread, forgive me of my debts as I forgive my debtors. And lead me not into temptation, but deliver me from all evil, for thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord is releasing another word. And in this time, the Lord is saying, I will take away your crown. He's saying, I mean, repent from your sins where I have driven you out from. Go out in peace to the same person. So, or the same group of people. So Sunday's word, we read 2 Samuel. And then this one has, one of them, I saw Jim. So I know one of them is, there's one of these words is for that, for those group of people too. But I already said that. The Lord is, because it's, it's, just, it's only the same group of people. It just be going in, like they just be got, yeah, they have organized crime shifts. <laughs> They go in order. So this one, the motivated by loved one was Jim and Lenita. So that's for them. And then they, these are for everybody. The Lord said everybody who has a crown, a church, who's in leadership. He says this word is for you. But for the for the main names or a group of people that he sees every day monitoring and stalking Kenithia. so repent repent and turn from your wicked ways read the lord is coming but this how is the lord coming in your life is he coming to take away your promised land or is he coming to give you a promised land or is he coming to promote you in your promised land Ah, the Lord is coming. Hallelujah. <laughs> the Lord is coming. In Jeremiah 18. Say to the king and to the queen mother, humble yourselves. Sit down for your rule shall collapse the crown of your glory. Due to your pride and not having humility. Pride is the downfall of man. Pride, you can't nobody tell you nothing. And then when, when somebody do tell you something, you shrug your shoulders because you're so anointed and powerful. That's pride. That's ego. And then you cause extra problems on other people. And so that's what the Lord is saying. He don't need two devils. He don't need... Extra people doing evil that's not so that he didn't will for them to do it. Thank you, Holy Spirit. <laughs> the Lord God has a will. I keep saying that in his will, he wills people to do good and he wills people to do evil for his good. If that makes sense, that's why in heaven we have kingdoms, was it, of the wicked of the darkness they're in heavenly places and high places as well god can do things the way he wants to do them and he don't gotta explain nothing to us but at least he's allowing us to know that much and he's allowing us to see what he created us for as far as our purposes you can't forget who you serve when something don't go your way 
You got to remember why you have that power. And it's not to cause problems or be a burden on anybody. He, the Lord says, I causes the, he says, I cause the affliction. Shouldn't no man or woman afflict any of my people. He says, I am God. There shouldn't be, he said, even if it's a light affliction, it should come from him. He's telling us to love each other and treat each other just as he, he was loved when he was down here. And so that's what he's saying. Love is Jesus Christ. Repent from your sins. Stop following and harassing the ex that keep telling you no. Respect people's boundaries. Don't, thank you, Holy Spirit. Don't manipulate people. Don't control people. If you do these things, you are being prideful. Pride is the downfall of man. Pride is the downfall. I saw an ant crawl and the Lord said, repeat yourself. Pride is the downfall of man. That's what he's saying. You too big to stop your spiritual attacks. He's speaking directly to you. He's going to take away your crown of glory. Come now and let us reason together, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be white as snow. Though they are red like crimson, they shall be as wool. If you are willing and obedient, you shall eat the, the hallelujah. You shall eat the good of the land. But if you refuse, Hallelujah. It's so good. Can't you speak tongues? You just can't. Gotta read the word. But if you refuse and rebel, you shall be devoured by the sword. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. If you are willing and obedient, you can have your life, basically. You can keep continue to lead people. If you repent. If you stop doing what you're doing. If you don't, the Lord is, that's what he's saying. No more of this light affliction. The sword shall devour you. Your crown of glory shall be taken from you. Because you would die by the Lord says, because I driven you out myself says God. Do you know that, Bob? Come on, Holy Spirit. Do you know what God stands for? <laughs> the Heavenly Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, they all make up God. And so they choose you. Rah, yes, Lord. And so they choose you, they call you, and they say, I trust you. You follow what they say. And he's so good and merciful, he still allows us a freedom of will. So even if you were like you were doing, even this morning, you wanted to stalk and harass Kenithia, he sat back and watched you to have the evidence that you did it. Now that he has, well, now that they have what they need, if you do not repent and turn from your wicked ways, the Lord shall take away your crown of glory. You're not God, so stop playing God. If you are willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. But if you refuse and rebel, you shall be devoured by the sword. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Stop telling God you could do what you want to do. Respect people, says the Lord. All the same word. When you tell God no, that's what he's saying. He can't trust you. <laughs> 